All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island, where I'm stuck with you, where we are. What the fuck, we're stuck on a boat, where we're always smiling, yo. All right, so a lot of persons always see me and wonder how tall I am. The last time I, I measured myself was like 5'10", 5'11", about. This I'm on, I know, is... <laughs> uh, six feet three, brother. Six feet three inches, <laughs> and wildlife is how much? Man, six two. two. Uh, about five About six two. Who that? Man, six two. The reason why I'm an ox, still enough. I'm an ox, look by the bed. <laughs> Make more of it all. I'm a head. I'm a head. Yeah. I'm a head. 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 I'm a Wait, your foot chop right up. <laughs> Alright guys, so that basically is supposed to answer a couple of questions I know that you guys definitely had. I don't know what the whole vibe is gonna be for today's video, but just stay tuned and you guys will see exactly what's gonna happen. Alright, cool. Alright guys, so basically what I'm doing right now is to head to get the guys some breakfast. Um yeah the yacht club sells breakfast or whatever, so we're gonna see what they have this morning because yesterday we didn't have any breakfast, we just went out to sea and did some crazy fishing. If you never caught that video, just go back. The video, the previous video before this one, and well, that's that was redundancy, right? Yeah, check out that video, really awesome. All right, guys, so basically, secure the breakfast, so I'm gonna drop it off to the guys now. Yes, sir. to show you guys what we have for breakfast here um, something I haven't had in a very long time which is um, sawfish in baked beans green bananas boiled yum boiled dumpling and fried johnny cakes or fried dumpling all right guys so basically we just had breakfast well not just a, a couple hours ago had some breakfast and we were just inside just editing and stuff which is a really cool thing for youtubers to link up and our persons always ask me link up with this person link up with that person like I will eventually, I, I would believe so, but like, you know, linking up with Spirit Fishing and Jamaica Wildlife, which is the first time I've ever linked up with him, you know, it's a great vibe because we get to learn different things from each other and you get the whole idea. But anyway, we're basically going on the other boat. It's going to be a smaller, faster boat, so, which is more optimal for what you call um, shallower waters because this one basically can go as far as five foot, like five foot waters, but captain normally takes that about like six but anyway that's gonna be the whole vibe try to catch some um, fish or something and whole vibe Guys, let's basically address the elephant in the room. I know a lot of Jamaicans might be watching the video and they might be wondering, you know, wow, you know, all these cool boats are out here and, you know, persons out here might be, you know, living their best life, you know, lavish life and all that crap like that. Um, to be quite honest, you know, powering these people um, from lock and loaded, let me tell you, man, really down to earth people and, you know, these persons will inspire you and let you know, like, yo, at the end of the day, money isn't everything. You know, some of us who basically earn, let's say you earn $100,000, it's based on what you want to do with your money. Some persons use their money and invest it into, you know, cars, girls, watches, whatever the case is. Their particular lifestyle is all about freaking fishing. So, at the end of the day, all these people want to do is just fish. You know, just go out there and fish, you know, as I said yesterday, it's basically their supermarket the ocean you know so that's basically it right now um getting the chance to do this experience here and catching freaking fish totally awesome so for those persons who want to aspire to this lifestyle make sure it's something that you really want for yourself it is possible just hard work and the key word is dedication all right guys so we're basically getting ready to, to leave out and these guys eating this fruit called ugly. Ugly fruit. It's uh, I just had a piece of it and it's it's, it's a beautiful fruit. <laughs> Help! Yeah, we're actually the boat's actually coming around right now. That we're gonna be taking out today, which is cool. So me and Raj, and yeah, I think that might just be about it. All right, new job, new job. Uh, 
them out. Bring on them other stuff there. So basically got to the spot if you guys are excited about these adventures just drop in the comments so excited <laughs> yo it's gonna be a whole vibe yo water is beautifully blue yo it's crazy all right so this is gonna be my second time out deep into the blue um trying every time to get a little bit better to understand the equipment and stuff so yeah follow me on this journey a whole vibe So excited! It's the next part which is basically about 90 feet or so. Probably the visibility to the better. successful for him in terms of catching a fish um, it's even more successful for me because another opportunity to 
Be in the ocean water. So excited. Hey, Rod. Huh? What's in for you, man? All right, guys. Basically, so the plane is grounded because of the um, yeah. Where we are right now is the airport is somewhere off there, and it's a no-fly zone. So definitely a no-fly zone. No going around that. Um, but we're on the boat right now with Captain Molo. For those who've been asking and want to know the prices and stuff, so these are the prices, which is a good price because one to four persons, so you can come with your family, you know, go fishing person been asking me on Instagram so that's a contact when you reach out Jamaica just make sure they think right ah yeah, yeah. so Captain Muller just said a while ago the rates are not etched in stone so you can see those prices a while ago you see me if you're one of our people and you forward down can get a discount on it you understand but you don't know if you can pay the full price you pay the full price and I'm not big to that <laughs> yeah it's a whole vibe it's a whole vibe out here um right still in the water trying to get something but the water seems pretty late to be quite honest and it's getting pretty late it's about um five o'clock right now heading to the curfew time and the rain is about to forward so yeah all right <laughs> So Captain Muller, I have a question, right? Yeah. If people come like um, deep sea fishing with you, what do fish them, them can expect to catch out or so? Deep sea? Yeah. Okay. Uh, deep sea, we're talking about um, trolling, right? And we're talking about a marlin, wahoo, mai mai, and bonita. Bonita. Yeah. yeah. Bonita, yeah. Cool. And the deep drop now is queens and queen snappers and cardinals and you know grouper and that type of thing, right? Yeah. And if they want a mixed trip, we can do that, you know? Ah, uh, so yeah, you know, a variation so, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know, say, you know, if you're fishing for the troll and not catch nothing, we can say, you know, make we go deep drop and, and catch something with it, you know? All right. Now, deep, deep drop, almost, sometimes it's almost guaranteed, you know? Deep drop, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, I noticed that. Yeah, man. Noticed that. Yeah, yeah guys, um, we went deep dropping yesterday and catch some queen snappers, and trust me, if you never had a queen snapper before, it is next level flavor so yeah there's some variety you know link up with different people you know small charters large charters this is one for you all right <laughs> guys this very moment i'm so excited awesome. yeah. have a good time you know whole vibe you know, if we don't do no, 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 red, no business card or no red card, right? Yeah. We we'll get some bait, we we'll buy some gas, and we we'll go catch some fish, and we we'll come back and roll some fish and eat. Yeah. Yo, I tell you yeah. guys, you know, down here, so it's like a, <laughs> it's yeah. a whole fishing village. Yeah. People just love fishing, yeah. love it. <laughs> guys so right now like you can see the storm clouds or the rain clouds popping up behind us so we might be heading in pretty soon so yeah it's drizzling out here but again <laughs> it's a whole vibe Out of his misery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make it go, I can't let go, I 
going in and it's not going to it. Yeah. A mutton snapper, yeah? Yeah, we're coming at me as soon as we have one, brother. Oh, and God! Ask. <laughs> man, what I see, man, I say, yo, I can't wait right now when I want to get to you, you know. Why? Good on Bonnie, man. Ah. Yeah, everyone, oh. I look kind of rugged still, man. Yeah. Yeah, Jay, I'm going to copyright and all that. I know, bro, you want to swap a fish, brother. I want to see the fish. You want to find the next one? Yeah, bro, I see, bro, sit down here. Hey, Bola. Sit down, clear, man. Sit down a little bit. I'm ready to talk. Alright guys, so we're basically in it to rain squall at the moment. Yeah. Got antsy. You guys can jump over to um spear fishing's <laughs> channel where you'll see like this beautiful underwater lightning effect. <laughs> Yo, this is a freaking adventure as I like to say. So are you excited? <laughs> Alright guys, so basically we came out of the rain and now I'm back in my very super warm and comfortable room. I'm so happy to be back here. Um, I hope you guys are, you know, definitely in a very warm spot, you know, kicking it, you know, just watching the video and enjoying it. And if you guys are in a warm place and you feel the warm in your heart, remember to drop a like on the video. You know, we're just out here doing, you know, crazy content for you guys. Um, definitely just showing different you know aspects of Jamaica there's different things that you can do and not just Jamaica but wherever you are you know if you've never gone you don't have to go spear fishing you don't have to go diving maybe you can do you know snorkeling you know do a little bit snorkeling and stuff like that you know overcome your fears of the water if you have a fear of water drop a like on the video as well or just drop in the comments let us know you know what your fear of water is or how much you love water if you are a water baby but um right now i don't know what's going to be the plan if we're going to be actually doing any cooking or anything of that sort right now um maybe if i end the vlog here i end the vlog here and you can just say to yourself love nature adaptation i always remember keep the link but i don't know all right guys so right now we'll get some brown stew fish you know what i'm saying some rice and we'll have some steamed veg i believe this look like a little bit of like probably pop chow pop chow yeah maybe 
with some steam cards. So right, let's get it. You guys know my tell it all the time. I'm not the biggest fan of fish, but that fish up my daughter and put it up on her back. Dude, that wicked at all. <laughs> Bro's two fish are sloppy. Really, really good. Alright guys, basically now we're at the point where I'm going to definitely end the vlog. It's a pretty long day, we might do some fishing by the dock or whatever the case is. And yeah, I remember you see things, yeah, you guys never have to do it yourself. Love, nature, adaptation and all as a member. Keep the link.